So this is it, the thinnest G-Shock yet. The new GDB500 is here and while it's compact, it certainly comes packed. Let's jump in. What's going on guys and welcome back to Time Drops. Today we're going to be taking a look at an entirely new series from G-Shock which sees the iconic square shape elongated into more of a rectangle with the addition of some activity focused features. But don't worry, not too many. This release dropped just last month in April and saw four models released worldwide, offering a load of versatility with a popping white, a luminous green, a cool grey and my pick of the bunch, this stealthy black all of which retail from £99.90 in the UK and between $120 to $130 in the US. So right at that sweet entry level price of G-Shock, but these offer a lot more than usual. Let's take a closer look. This new shock resistant resin structure is created from a combination of bezel, case and band connectors, rather than the band being attached to the case directly, which not only allows for impressive durability, but more possibilities with its design. Now, because these are oblongs, what a word by the way, this means we've got more on show here. As you can see, this screen is split into three. By default, in the center, you've got the time, the date is displayed in the bottom section, while at the top, we have the day of the week on the left and something entirely new on the right, a step counter which is what this watch is all about. Yep, not only does this watch come equipped with all of the functionality we've come to expect, including the likes of a stopwatch, countdown timer, dual time, five daily alarms, and a super illuminator LED backlight, which is automatic by the way. This one also brings in Bluetooth and an accelerometer to keep on top of your activity. So it was time to get stepping. I had to dash into central London for a few hours, so thought what better time to test this out. Oh, and while we do, having Bluetooth involved means that we add in even more functionality of course. By syncing up with the Casio Watches app, you'll be able to easily adjust settings on the watch from your phone, increase your world time cities to 300, track your activities by setting off the life log, and even get help with finding your phone if you misplace it, along with a whole lot more. But if, like me, you're more of a traditionalist, you can just stick to managing the watch with the watch. What's really cool is by quickly hitting the adjust button, you can switch the day out for a graph of your progress so far, as well as display the actual number of steps you're on in the lowest section, which I found most useful of the lot. Call me old fashioned, but just give me the number please. That being said, it is quite unique to have graph options nonetheless. Certainly look pretty cool. Another nice touch is once you've reached your target step count for the day, the word goal will flash up in the bottom right. I did actually see this, but didn't film it, so you'll just have to believe me. Now, this timepiece has dimensions of 46.3 millimeters in length, 41.5 in width, and is 11 mil thick, weighing just 45 grams, which is even more impressive after rattling off everything it packs inside, right? The comfort of this watch is also spot on. The band is nice and smooth and wraps around the wrist perfectly, so will accompany you to the office, the gym, and any outdoor activity you fancy with ease. This also offers 200 meters of water resistance to help out with that. So yeah, all pretty impressive stuff, which brings me on nicely to my overall verdict. As you can probably tell, this watch has been a real pleasant surprise for me. Being completely honest, I wasn't massively feeling it on first look, but it's only grown on me since getting it on the wrist. Plus, I think they've got the balance of features just right on this one. We've seen a lot of releases lately that have tried to pack way too much in and have only ended up compromising on the design. Not the case with this one. As many of you will know, entry level Gs come with a strong set of features as standard, but wrapping in Bluetooth and an accelerometer in there at effectively no cost, both aesthetically and financially, is awesome. This stealth colorway in particular is a very strong option and in fact keeps giving me retro Casio vibes on quick glance. Of course, it has that negative display which can cause issues with legibility but fully fits the vibe on this one in my opinion. Whichever option you go for, I really don't think you can lose with the GDB500. Excited to see what comes next. And as always guys, let me know what you think down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.